Oh my god. Oh, I'm glad you guys are here for this. Alright guys, and we're back. Some good news, bad news real quick. Uh, the harness for the 3UZ platform apparently, according to my source at Lexus, is not available. That's this harness with this plug. Apparently it's not available separate, which is weird. Um, I think this is for the truck engines. Different plug. Anyway, Lexus harness not available. That's the bad news. Good news is we're going to take this harness and we are going to cut it and splice it into this harness so that we can continue to utilize this plug. In the future, if there's a demand, I might get a harness builder um, to make us this sub harness aftermarket so that if uh, these get really crunchy and in bad condition, uh, I'll have those in stock on the uh, future website to ship to you guys if you need them. So anyway, I'm gonna time lapse this, I'm gonna get this harness put together and then we're gonna get going back into the car, finally, two days later. All I ever wanted was to show you So what I'm going to do is use my multimeter and figure out which one of these pins is which one on either end. That way uh, I know bank one, bank two, because I'm sure the computer looks at bank one, bank two sensor uh, individually. So in the future, if I ever have a code, I'll know that at least we're looking at the right, the correct sensor. That way the computer is not backwards looking at the wrong side. So we're going to make sure that we mark which one is going to go which sensor because both of the new ones are great plugins. Okay, we need to be on ohms. We have this nice little beep feature when it works. I need to get new test leads. So we'll probe this. And that one will stay in there it looks like. Alright. Make 100% sure. So this side is gonna be our white. Let's mark it. This side will be our gray. From the factory, of course, because now they're both gonna be gray. If you're wondering why I'm even doing this, I mean, this is what happens to the plugs. They just, they turn into dust, pretty much. And I'm not gonna put that back in the car. If it was a little bit easier job, maybe I would but not today. This is our starter wire. The one at the top is the starter trigger. We're gonna leave that one in there, obviously. I'm just gonna strip this down and you know, rewire this for the knock sensors. That's that. I'm waiting for an enemy. They say that we should take care of each other. But you're just in my way.
All right, guys, white is on the passenger side. Beautiful. It's a little bit long. I could have made it shorter, but better to be long than short, right? We're going to tuck this somewhere. Forgot I had this new clip that we can utilize. Not the best, but it'll do. I also had to do a little rigging here with these zip ties to keep the starter wire. Make sure it stays in because, of course, the trigger broke off of that one too. So I'm definitely going to hit up a wire harness company and get us uh, get them to make us a uh, sub harness for this. So I don't have to deal with this crusty one anymore. But for right now, it's going back in. Oh my god. Oh, I'm glad you guys are here for this. Wow. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let's make sure we're recording this. That's going in the trash. Let's make sure this is on film. Oh man, I'm gonna get you guys a better view here in a second, but holy sludge engine. Holy sludge engine. I have never had one of these before. Lucky me. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get you guys zoomed in here. Hold on. Let's get this other valve cover out. This is getting better by the minute. It's getting better by the minute. Oh man, wow. And it really doesn't seem to mind. What is this? Oh my God. Wow. All right, well, it's a good thing I put mobile one in here. Yeah. All right, let's get the other one off. Let's get the other one off. Good times. Okay, the fact this doesn't leak from anywhere else is a miracle. Figure out how I'm gonna get it back in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. I shouldn't lean on that. This is sludge. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what your that's what not changing your oil looks like ever and living in Phoenix. Good stuff, all right. Let me get you zoomed in, hold on. All right guys, if this is not a testament to how uh, bulletproof this engine is, I don't know what is. Let me get my flashlight. Let's start with the valve here. I don't know how well you saw this, but. That is sludge. All in there. Okay. I have never had an engine like this. Good times. It's like chocolate cake. Hold on. It's like cake. There's the cam cap. Oh. You can see that that's that's a bolt, Ed. Full of crap. I wonder if it was like an old lady. Maybe it was just an old lady that had this car. Never drove it. 
Yeah, we're definitely uh, definitely good times. All on this side too. Oh yeah, that's okay. Uh, as long as the engine stays together, we're gonna cook that right out of there. So it's not that bad. Obviously I've seen way worse where you can't even see anything down inside. I can still see the buckets and the bottom of the head. I can still see the bottom of the head down there. So it could be way worse. Not upset. The fact that only the valve covers leaks is pretty amazing, probably because they never changed the oil. But there's a couple tricks for that. You can run, um, run some ATF, put oil in, put like a whole quart of ATF in, automatic trans fluid, and run it through around the block a couple times, get it hot, and then uh, change it. And a lot of that will come out. Um, yeah, so we're going to keep on keeping on and uh, get these valve curves back together and get her running. God.
guys. It's the following day. We're on our uh, maiden voyage. We did a little test drive around the block. Everything seemed to be good. No leaks, no weird noises. We do have a vibration, but we had that before. So we're gonna go balance the tires quick. Uh, but she's cruising along 80, no problem. VSC lights are on. I don't know what that's about. That booster unit might be bad. Darn. Excuse to take that out. Everything else seems to be good. This car rides like a Cadillac. So anyway guys, that's probably gonna do it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is gonna be a project for us, so uh, I'm gonna post some updates when uh, we have updates available for this car, but she's gonna sit for a little bit. So, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe, tell your friends. Thank you. Peace. And then I will forget what I'm talking about.